Hi, my name is Latinette. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel. I'm still getting used to my braces. I got some stuff added, stuff adjusted, so that's why I sound like this. But today, um, this video, I wanted to make a best purchases versus worst purchases. with the dead that best purchases versus worst purchases video i was thinking about some of the things that i've bought recently that are like not just current favorites but i think things that everybody should have and so then i thought that a best versus worst purchases video would be a little bit more fun than just a current favorites video also this is kind of the budget version um almost everything i i will name is less than fifty dollars and a lot of them are like Five. Please leave a comment telling everybody what one of your best or worst purchases has been. So I'll start off with a good purchase. I'm actually wearing it right now. It is, um, if you can see on this finger, I have this little ring size adjuster. I ordered it from Walmart for like $5. And so therefore, um, if you have a ring that's a little bit too big, you can just wrap it around the um, back of your ring and it takes up the space so that way you can wear a ring that's like a little bit too big my first worst purchase is actually a different kind of ring size adjuster that i also ordered i got this one from claire's so the good one is this kind of spiral kind i also ordered this kind and it was just a fail like i can't even get it open get this kind not this kind my second good purchase is my full length mirror from Ikea, which is pretty dirty right now. I can't really get a better angle of it right now just because of where it is in my room, but it's a full length mirror. Um, it wasn't that hard to put together. I think it was about $40. Um, I did, my brother had to help me put it together just because there were steps where you have to like hold apart while also screwing in apart and you just kind of need it like four hands. But other than that, like it was really easy to put together. And it's just really, 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 really helpful to be able to see your whole outfit and just have a full mirror available. So this next bad purchase is kind of different. It's also one that I don't know what to do about. I don't know how to fix it, but it's all of the hair products I've bought that I don't use. So some of these are samples that I've gotten from free from maybe like a natural hair convention or if I bought a full size product and got um, a sample for free. But a lot of these are ones I bought that I don't like, but I just don't want to get rid of them because I barely use them like this. This one I've used not quite half of it, but I just really did not like the smell. And I don't know why I have it because there's no way I can improve that. I mean, literally, out of all of these products, the two that I use the most are this one and this one, which is actually discontinued. If you're watching this, Shea Moisture, like, I do not approve of discontinuing this. I also use the curling custard, but not as much as those two. So those are the literal literally three products that I use all the time and the rest are just kind of in here. So if you thought of any hacks for hair products that you don't like for your hair but that you can use some other kind of way, let me know please. The third best purchase is actually my Timex watch. It is water resistant. Um, it's white but it I've had it for over a year, I guess about a year and a half and it's still white. Um, and I have to say as much as much as I have considered maybe getting an Apple Watch or something like that, it's something really calming about having a watch that only tells the time. Like it doesn't give me the news, it doesn't tell me how many texts I have, it doesn't tell me like anything about the time. And I know a lot of times I will look at my phone to check the time and then see that I have new texts and new emails and then end up looking at those and then 45 minutes later I still don't know what time it is. So I don't have that problem with my watch, my old fashioned plain watch. I think it has a stopwatch on here and a timer or an alarm. Um, it will glow in the dark so you can press this button, you can't really see it because it's 
bright in here, but you can press this button if you're in the dark and it'll light the numbers up for you. I highly recommend it. It was about $50, I think. And I just encourage everyone to get a plain old fashioned everyday watch. My third, third, yeah. Third worst purchase is actually these shower caps I got from, I don't even know where, it was Walmart, Target, somewhere like that. I got them so I could deep condition my hair or put the cap on it when I deep condition my hair, but they literally smell awful. Like, they smell like, I don't know, tar or something. Like, they smell terrible. And so, I there's no way I'm gonna put that on my hair. So, if you know of a brand of shower caps that don't smell awful or if you have gotten this brand before and you're like no mine don't smell bad like that was just a bad batch please let me know my fourth best purchase is my mr water bottle from sally's so i've been using a regular water bottle um which like worked but a lot of times it would just hit my hair and then slide down and i'd have like a nice little puddle on the floor by the time i was done Whereas this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a little mist. It doesn't make a mess. Like, this is beautiful. I highly recommend it. It was about $9 at Sally's, I think. And I've had it for a while. I've been using it for not a super long time, but a while. It hasn't broken. Spray bottles don't last forever, but... So far it's been good and I definitely recommend it. My last worst purchase, I don't even know where it is because that's how much of a bad purchase it was. It is a pedometer that I ordered off of Amazon for about $20. I will put the name of it up here when I find what the name of it was. But I was just standing up, holding it in my hand and I moved my hand and it added like 12 steps. And I was like, yeah, why would I trust anything that this says? So yeah, I think I might have used that one one day. I haven't used it since. I actually got another pedometer that um, so far has been way more accurate and I like way better. So after I use it for a little bit, I might make a review for that. If you would like to see it, please leave a comment and tell me if you would like to see that. And I really just got pedometers because, like I said, I've kind of considered getting an Apple Watch, but I wanted to be sure before I spent $200 on a watch that may or may not help me. Just see if tracking my steps and having a pedometer was helpful um, before I decided to buy something more expensive. My last best purchase is actually my Nutribullet RX. I'm so glad I got this. It was about $200, but it was literally one of the best ways I could have spent that $200. I know it's like way more expensive than anything else I've mentioned in this video, but I still kind of think of it as like a budget blender, kind of, sort of. It's kind of in the middle. There are some really like $20 ones, but then there are um, like $600 ones. My mom has had a Vitamix, and I think this works as well as as blah, 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 blah. I think this works as well as Vitamix, but it just doesn't have as many like customizable controls. Not customizable, but like you can't control it as much. So the Vitamix had like I don't know, like two knobs and then like a switch. This just has a button on and off, and then it has this button in the front, which I think is for hot things. So it only makes something hot once. So like if you want to make soup or like a hot smoothie. I think that's why you press this. I don't know. I only ever press the on and off. So yes, if you want to be able to like have a lot of of control, then you wouldn't like this. But if you just want to have a blender that will blend frozen things, it works well, like it doesn't feel cheap, I definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope something in it helped you to decide what you should buy or maybe what you shouldn't. And I hope your day has been and will continue to be as wonderful as you are. Stay amazing. Bye.